Hi, ladies and dudes. This is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, aka Robot1970. This is my review for the day. And today's review, ladies and dudes. Well, I hate to say it, ladies and dudes. But once again, I'm going to do another top five list that nobody has never done before. And I'm going to do another top five list that involves a... Ow! Oh, heck no! Moments and movies! And this top five list will be way more different than my top five most funniest oh heck no moments in movies. Well, as you may remember my top five most funniest oh heck no moments in movies, I'm looking for some good oh heck no moments that are really the funniest and truly one of the best. For me, of course, I love oh heck no moments that has a whole ton of funniness here and there, but this oh heck no moment will be way, way different. For these oh heck no moments, I'm looking for these oh heck no moments that are very, very bad! Yeah, something that's uh, kind of terrifying to me. Yeah, you can say something that really scares me. Something that's not what it seems, or something that's kind of embarrassing, something disturbing, something that's not completely right for the story, some stuff that involves plot twists here and there, or something else that involves too much information, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you can say this is another scary list. But this, but I'm just gonna do another good oh heck no moments that involves movies. So anyway, without further ado, ladies and dudes, let's head on to my top five most baddest oh heck no moments and movies. And I only see four out of five movies that I've already seen from my childhood to adulthood, and there's one movie I haven't seen yet, but I did see some clips here and there for it. So let's get on with the list. At number five goes to Princess Mononoke. Yeah, I know in everybody's opinion, this is uh, everybody's most favorite Hayao Miyazaki movie of all time. As for me, since I already did a movie review of it, it is a pretty good film. But I got some few flaws here and there. And one of the other flaws I have with this movie is somewhere around the near end of the film where Lady Boshi is going to do something really, really bad to the poor Nightwalker. Well, before it could transform to a Nightwalker, one of the most biggest oh heck no moments I will never forget in this movie that is so darn bad is when Lady Boshi is going to use that gun of hers and she began to shoot the Nightwalker's head. And the head just cuts off. And this is where the forest is in great danger and it's going to die. How could Leia Boshi do such a horrible thing like that? Well, she did break one rule, after all. You cannot disturb nature and destroy it. It's not completely right for the story, if you know what I mean. Let's just say it's a near message to the story that you cannot destroy nature if you don't know how it works, or something like that. So yeah, that Lady Boshi cutting off the, the poor four spirits god's head deserves to be at number five. Number four goes to the House of Flying Daggers. And I'm going to pick all four of the oh heck no moments I will tell you about in this video. There's only four oh heck no moments I already did found in this movie. Okay, the first oh heck no moment I found in this film is the part at that entertaining house after May did her dance and sing a song about... Something about Beauty in the North or something like that? There was a part where G began to grab her and he looks like he was about to rape her. And all those ladies tried really hard to save her, but G was 
you know, doing bad things here and there. Let's just say he got completely drunk. Uh, you know, trying to sexually harass May. I guess you could say that's the first rape scene in the movie. Uh, the second oh heck no moment, it came from in the forest where uh, May was trying to run for her life. Try to get out of those police guards as soon as she can. I remember she faced one of them. And there was a part where uh, one of the police officer's horse fell down. And I think it broke its neck. I felt bad for that horse. And I think that was really too scared to see a horse falling down with two feet. And then there's a flip. And I think that poor horse had broken its neck. That was kind of scary. And the last and final oh heck no moments, uh, just two oh heck no moments, is coming from Leo. Um, May's formal boyfriend that came from in the past. There was one oh heck no moment where Leo was about to rape May. If you remember, there was a part where they are going to have sex, but um, May refused to have sex with him in a, such a bad timing in the forest. And Leo got so mad because he's so freaking jealous that May started to fall in love with someone else. And he had no choice but to rape her. And then somewhere around the near end of the movie is um, the part where you see Leo, one of his daggers, two daggers... In the sky, one of them missed, but the other hit. Yeah, that dagger did hit May in the chest, and she's going to die in it. So those are the four oh heck no ones I did found in the House of Flying Daggers. And I can't tell which one of these oh heck no ones is truly the baddest. So I decided to put that in number four. Number three goes to Batman Begins. Oh yeah, I hope you know what I'm talking about. That oh heck no moment that came from at the near end of the movie. Or somewhere out at the near middle and the near... Ah, you get the picture. You know which scene I'm talking about. It took place at Bruce Wayne's birthday party. Where Bruce Wayne's teacher had finally showed up in Bruce Wayne's party. And he told Bruce Wayne the truth. That he is the real Ra's al Ghul. And I was like, no, 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 no. It can't be true. It just can't be true. I don't want to see Liam Neeson becoming a main villain in the movie. No. Why, Liam Neeson? Why, why, why did you play a bad guy in this movie? No! No, 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 no! No! Oh, that was really, really shocking. But definitely one of the worst plot twists I have ever seen in movie history. So yeah, if you already know what I'm talking about, Finding out that uh, Liam Neeson's character is the real Ra's al Ghul deserves to be a number three. Okay, a number two goes to the Dark Crystal. You already know which scene I'm talking about. One of the most biggest, oh heck no, most that came from in a puppet movie. And it took place around at the end of Trial by Stone. You know that general dude? He used his sword and he broke the, st the stone in half. And he finally got his victory that he became an emperor. And that uh, one Skeksy with the horn in its head, uh, he told uh, the Skeksis to attack Chamberlain. And Chamberlain got surrounded by his own kind. And those Skeksis have beat him up and ripped off his clothes. That is one bad oh heck no moment I will never forget in movie history. But one of the most scariest moments I have ever seen in movie history. But I think Jim Henson got a bit too carried away on that part. To see, you know, doing a part where the Skeksis had surrounded Chamberlain, taking off his clothes and trying to beat him up or something like that. I think 
That was being a bit too carried away, don't you think? But anyway, that deserves to be at number two. And finally, the number one most baddest, most disturbing, and most... Uh, uh, anyway, for the number one most baddest, oh heck no moment I've ever seen in movie history, but I haven't seen the movie yet, but I saw some clips here and there on YouTube, and I will do a movie review of it very, very soon, coming in 2015. For number one, goes to a third person. Liam Neeson's most worst film of all time. A movie that's all about a mystery movie that's so dark and confusing. And I guess you want to know which oh heck no moment that I'm talking about. It's about Michael and Anna's story. As you may know, I did see it in YouTube. I only saw a couple of clips of it here and there. And I saw it on a Saturday. And I was pretty darn shocked about what the heck I seen. I Just a few parts here and there. And I got pretty darn embarrassing by it. I will say that Michael and Anna's story will be the most disturbing, embarrassing, very shocking, and yet not of a very good story that I really want to see in the movie called Third Person. I wonder what the heck the, the director was thinking of, putting a 60-something year old having an affair with this 30-year-old and have this stupid relationship that involves sexual harassing? Ugh. That is so darn messed up. I don't want to see Liam Neeson doing crazy things here and there with Olivia Wilde for third person. It is so darn messed up. And there was a whole lot of heck no moments I found here and there. But there's only two old heck no moments I will never forget for what I seen in YouTube. The first old heck no moment came from, um, there was a sec- there's gonna be a sex scene in that movie. There was a part where Michael, uh, just ran to, uh, the hallway and he picked up, uh, Anna and took her back to his sweet room and they're going to have sex and it was the most embarrassing sex scene I have ever seen in my life and it really did scare me to death. I was like, oh. No, 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 I don't want to see that part. No! Ah! I better need a kick out bar for this. And the second oh heck no moment is coming from, uh, remember that part I told you about where, uh, Michael heard a knock on the door? He saw Anna wearing his robe. Uh, she took it by accident, and he wants it back for some other reason, and that's where the oh heck no moment came by? Ugh. Don't forget to eat a kick out bar for this one, ladies and dudes. Ugh. This is way too much. Ugh. I have nothing else to say about this oh heck no moment. But yeah, Michael and Anna's story deserves to be the number one most biggest oh heck no moment I ever seen that is so darn bad. Period. And there you go, ladies and dudes. Those were my top five most biggest, baddest, oh heck no moments I have ever seen in movie history. I hope you enjoyed this list, and this one will be way more wackier than my other top tier five lists that I did so far. And tell me, ladies and dudes, what is your most biggest oh heck no moment that you have ever seen that is so darn bad? Whichever it is, leave a comment there and let me know. And join me next time, as I promised my good friend the Animation Blitz, I will do that animation video tag. It's going to come really, really soon, so around the near end of October or maybe the beginning of November. So be prepared for that one to come. I'll see you all later. Sayonara. And please don't forget to eat a Kit Kat bar for this, if you know what I mean.